All right, we are here to uh, explain my technique for creating a fixture and making two-sided bowls using Fusion 360 and my CNC Router Parts Pro 4848 machine. Um, this is a fixture that I've made. I've got several of them, but uh, it's just three-quarter inch Baltic birch ply and I've strategically cut out Pentagon in the middle of it. And I've got some lines on it to help me mark things up. I've got some guides here at a 90 degree angle that I can put blank stock in if I'm making multiple parts or multiple pieces of the same same carving. And then I've got a bunch of these Pentagons that I cut out that fit nicely down in, nice and snug. Um, so that's the basis of the fixture. And here's a, a small piece of stock that I'll use as an example in just a minute. All right, so lining up my stock and securing it to my fixture is usually a no-brainer, but I'm using a non-standard size piece of stock here and just doing a little prototype for the video so I'm eyeballing centering my stock on my fixture. I'm screwing it down from the underside and normally, I'm not 100% sure in this case, but normally the place where I'm screwing into in the stock gets carved out when I flip the piece over and cut the bowl shape out so the screws are not an issue. stock centered on the fixture. Like I said, normally I would use a bigger piece of stock that fits into here and is already lined up to be centered on, on the fixture, but that does the trick. Then I put the fixture on my spoil board and I put it into a, a known location where I know the center point. I've already got my machine honed to that XY0. So, fixture and material are both secure on the machine. In this case, I'm going to use a half inch ball nose for my 3D adaptive clearing pass. Just a standard 3D adaptive clearing Fusion 
spiral took 15 minutes and 53 seconds. tiny little 16th inch uh, end mill that I'll put in my machine. Zero it. about to do is to uh, effectively engrave the pentagon on the bottom so I know exactly where to place it and glue it. Um, just a super, super thin cut, hopefully, if I've got things set up right. And that's a project tool path, Fusion 360. It's uh, project. Project in Fusion 360 is kind of like doing a profile on top of a 3D carve in Vectric software. It took me a little while to figure that one out. But I'm stupid, so... Depends on how fast and how much of a hurry you're in. But I now have this nice little teeny tiny outline of the pentagon. And I'm gonna super glue it on. Super glue the pentagon on there. There it is. Slap a little glue. Super glue it cures with water and moisture. Don't be fooled into buying the uh, what do you call it? The catalyst or the spray stuff that you screw on or that you squirt on after the glue. It's just water. No moisture breath works. So line this up. Big 
exact same spot. And now a piece <coughs> fits in like that. It won't twist. It's a little tiny bit loose um, as far as it can pop out. So if you're doing cuts that pull the piece up,